Hey everybody, so welcome back here. And now that we have our base shape created, we're ready to go ahead here and I'm just going to start manipulating my mesh. Um, and to do this, I'm simply just going to be using the uh, Move Topological brush here. And I do encourage you guys to um, not shape it like mine. You know, um, go ahead and start making your own shapes the way that you want. Um, this is really just your own imagination. So uh, let's go ahead here and take some time and start manipulating our mesh. So I'm going to go ahead here and pull out the front here. Just simply do a material change real quick. Um, nothing specific. And you'll, you'll notice here that I'm also uh, using the symmetry to mirror on both sides. Uh, just so I can manipulate the mesh a little bit easier. And it's going to be the same on both sides. We can always uh, do some asymmetrical work uh, a little bit later. But right now I just want to go ahead and play with the shape so that I can at least uh, see what I'm trying to build and I'm going to go up a subdivision level here uh, and still this isn't necessarily that high in terms of polygon count so if I wanted to I can always uh, delete the low res um, subdivision there so we can start with uh, this being our number one level of uh, subdivision and I'm just going to play with the shape here a little bit and try and at least, you know, come up with something that's going to be somewhat unique. And we'll go ahead and turn that wireframe off there. The general idea here is just to get the um, shapes that you want, not necessarily um, make it too out of proportion. We just want to try and form something that we think is going to at least look um, somewhat neat and somewhat funny. So I'm really just uh, trying to play with the shape as best as I can uh, to make it look um, a little weird and also uh, have at least some humor to it. So a lot of this is just basically going to be uh, one imagination um, and two, you know, don't really limit yourself. Um, there's no really right and wrong way to do this. We just want to basically try and create something that uh, people are going to enjoy and at least try and have a lot of fun with. And something that um, the animators and the riggers would, you know, typically have a lot of fun animating. So uh, we really want to make something that's going to be very enjoyable for everybody. So a lot of this is just basically interpretation of um, 
me thinking, you know, what's the animator going to enjoy? Uh, is he going to have fun with this? Is it going to be something that's um, going to challenge the riggers? append a, a sub tool and we'll go ahead and just basically move this real quick if I can draw this out Go ahead and shrink that down there. And I'm going to change my focal shift. to make sure that everything is uh, right in the middle here and I think the uh, sphere here is going to have to go over a little bit just a little bit okay just working on trying to get this shape um, to look funny here. Okay. I might actually have to pull these in a little bit here. So I think generally um, that shape is looking okay. And you'll notice that I'm really using the, the move topological brush um, <clears throat> more than anything else. And I'm doing that because I want to make sure that I manipulate the geometry uh, to an extent where once I subdivide it, it's just going to be much easier to sculpt on rather than um, just going in and simply sculpting on it because that has a tendency to malform. Um, 
your geometry so it's just easier to to make sure that you get the shape that you want before you start subdividing anything and maybe go ahead and pull these back a little bit and cartoons can tend to be um, just much more fun rather than anything else you can see where I'm starting to pinch through there so I'll have to adjust that and that's okay I can always just simply re-pull that out same with the side here just trying to at least be careful of what I do here just slowly manipulate our mesh here just still playing with the shape um, to try and get what I want and maybe we'll jump up another subdivision level there turn our lazy mouse off here once we turn our lazy mouse off we definitely have to turn the intensity down because if I leave it um, back up and say something like 20 you're going to see where it comes in and it's um, a really extreme amount that it adds so once you turn your lazy mouse off just make sure that you turn the intensity down a little bit and I'm just trying to play with the shape here at least a little bit not really uh, concerning myself with uh, how it's going to look overall in the end right now I'm just trying to get a decent base shape And I think that eye is still going to have to be moved over just a little bit. Um, not an extreme amount. Because uh, I just want to make sure that I'm equal on both sides in terms of the actual um, eyelid shape and geometric structure here.
Okay. If you want, you can always take your clay brush and build up around that eye as well. Just being mindful that you'll probably have to smooth that out a little bit, um, obviously. You can always take your Damien Standard brush here too. Like I said, the idea here is just to create something that's um, a lot of fun for, for people to look at. Um, definitely going to be fun for the animators and for the rigger to have a lot of fun with. Okay, so I think that um, right here we're okay. I might actually have to pull the top portion of that eye up and, uh, and back. Just trying to form this just a little bit better, um, just so that the animators and the riggers um, wouldn't necessarily have that hard of a job um, to go ahead and ring and animate this. And maybe we'll go ahead and inflate this a little bit. Oop, that's too much. Always tend to uh, build up slowly uh, rather than just one mass of stroke it's just easier to to build up slowly rather than make it one large mass of stroke inside of ZBrush this way you build the forms up easier and you don't um, make everything so blown out though sometimes you you'll want to do that um, but really I would say that the, the most important thing is just have fun um, and really just try to get this uh, to where you want it to be and like I said there's really no right and wrong way of um, creating characters uh, or creating something from scratch okay, so I think we're, our eye here is looking fairly decent okay so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop the recording uh, and then in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and work a little bit more on the body so um, come on back everybody <laughs>